What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. What do $30 casual loafers look like? I know you've been wondering, so I picked some up on Amazon. These are by Vaseline. I may be pronouncing that wrong. I am almost certainly pronouncing it wrong. But I thought I'd get some, uh, some shoes like this because I do like the loafers. First of all, they're just so convenient. You can slip them on off super quickly. I love that. And they have a nice uh, kind of formal look if you're in a business casual environment. Now, I will say these are absolutely fashionable because they say it right there, fashion. And, you know, I don't have high expectations for them because they are 30 bucks, but if they do work decently well, I'll be happy with that. So I will say that it looks like this is leather. I will say that the tongue here is on some elastic, so should kind of snug snug down. It has a, you know, it's not, it looks more orange on camera than it does, but it, it, it it's, it's kind of a bright light brown. I don't know what you'd call it. Um, you can see they have a emblem or something attached to the side there. And it doesn't have a penny loafer look. Obviously there's no um, saddle across the, the front here. And then we also have like this little vented Tab, which is a little funny. The padding here is kind of interesting. Got a little bit of like a scale like bubble like pattern. Maybe that will be nice and massaging. And then where it does say fashion, that's pretty heavily padded, kind of a bubbled up area. These are size 10, which is generally the size I would wear. You can see how it's all ridged up there and sewn. It's got definitely a moccasin look. What's kind of interesting and what I did not expect from the pictures is that you have a lot of, I don't know, um, rippling in the leather, which normally you would expect that to be kind of nice and smooth, but it's not bad, but it just gives it that moccasin-y look, almost boot-like look. And then on the bottom here, this is often like a dark brown, but this is obviously black and it's almost like a sneaker sole. You can even see we have little molded in like shock absorbers in the back here. And, you know, it's just for looks though. Um, and then this is the tread pattern. So it's actually very flexible, which I would think should get good traction, maybe better traction than usually what is a flat or smooth sole with a high heel on most loafers. So that's what it looks like. How does it feel? All right, so let's put these little bad boys on. Haven't broken them in or anything. Now I will say that uh, sole insert is actually kind of grippy. It's kind of got almost like a suede-like effect. So sliding my feet into it isn't the easiest thing in the world. I would say these are about the right size. You can see my toes popping up there. And man, they do feel like moccasins, you know, you kind of feel pretty low. You don't have like a high heel. And so I'm not standing up as much. So if you want that rise in the shoes, these aren't it. But man, they're pretty comfortable. And they do have a little bit of that business casual good look. So I think you can wear these to work and be really casual. And I tell you what, they are grippy. So right on the stone, I can't even slide around. I can't do my moonwalk, baby. Nope, too grippy, too grippy for moonwalks. But at $29.99, I think these things are a good value. Now, to me, that little crinkling in the leather is not my thing, but I think overall, I'm pretty happy with these. I'll put a link to them in the description if you wanna pick up a set. Peter Brown Panda, out.